What's up, guys? It's, uh, it's currently, I think it's 4, 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 11. And uh, I woke up at like 3, 3 12. 3 o'clock basically in the morning for my Ironman. Half Ironman, 70.3. And uh, now just going through my morning routine. Got some uh, oatmeal in there. Got some uh, coffee that I'm gonna make. So this is the the pre-routine here. Fortunately, you guys cannot see the the beautiful view that we have here, but uh, it's damn amazing. We're grateful for that. And uh, how do I feel? Is the big question now. Well, I feel relaxed actually. I feel like I feel like perfection. I feel like I feel very flowy actually. <laughs> sand in my pocket from yesterday we went to the beach making a test of the beach today it's a bit uh, windy as you guys can hear as you guys can hear so there's the uh, the Iron Man like uh, thing when you finish basically what will happen is that uh, we'll start there We'll do like some kind of rectangle, some kind of circle, and we'll circle back here. Hopefully uh, it won't be as windy, but if it is, man, whoo! What up, what up, what up? I'm up for the challenge, baby. And um, there's this beautiful little thing here on the sand. I think she's my girl. Beautiful view. Super stoked. Super duper stoked, baby. Yeah, everything's going fine, man. I got a lot of sleep, which is amazing. It's like extra, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a plus, you know, because most athletes, they, they don't get much sleep uh, before their competition. So, here I am. I got like a, at least eight hours of sleep. Went to bed very early. Like I could say at eight, I was asleep. Meaning that I get like yeah, seven, eight hours, which is a luxury basically, and good sleeper. Eh? So, I'm gonna make my coffee here, gonna make my oatmeal, preparing a couple of things here and there, my uh, protein uh, supplement in, in this bottle. Got some uh, BCA, creatine, uh, testosterone thing, and uh, protein. Keep you guys posted. Then making the breakfast here. Um, that's the breakfast we have. So what is it? It's oatmeal with cacao powder, uh, cinnamon, bananas, and a lot of honey. Cause I love honey. Yeah, it's also good carbs you know for the race so pretty damn delicious and here we got my good old friend <clears throat> his name is black organic coffee so pre-race I'll be pretty fired up now Friday is making the the protein drink and the normal one hydrating oneself and off we go after that well the, the rolling start basically is the fastest in front and the slowest in the back but like honestly I don't really care uh, I'm gonna do it quickly so it's, it's starting now the first one uh, are starting and um, the, the last one will uh, follow so they start them kind of slow, yeah. What's up, guys? So, post marathon summary before those feelings and those short term memory get away.
so incredible race incredible race uh, right now I'm as you might see uh, without energy Uh, start of the race was terrible so I and we filmed that actually I jumped in the water my head first and my goggles went straight down so that was a fucking fail but um, I quickly like took the goggles and put them in the right place without getting water in my eyes and stuff that took me a good like one uh, or two minutes uh, Swimming went good, although I was zigzagging, which is why I made uh, not a bad time for me, but like uh, it's 53 minutes. I projected that I would do like 45 or something like that. So I, I zigzagged. Um, there were some places where with a lot of waves, uh, two or three times I, I goggled some, uh, some water some salty water which uh, caused me stomach pains and nausea on the bike bike was, uh, was good, it wasn't the best uh, I did it in 3 hours and 43 minutes Bike for me is not is not an, a hard thing, you know. The only thing funny was that I didn't had any bike shoes, and lots of people told me that I was the guy with the white shirt without bike shoes. A lot of people like memorize that because usually you don't go in an Iron Man with a uh, half Iron Man without your bike shoes. But I guess I was this guy. Next, uh, next triathlon, which should be an Iron Man, because I'm fucking crazy. I should bring obviously some shoes. Uh, so that was for the the bike. So there was like some up and downs. I was getting pummeled by the sun, obviously. And uh, yeah, I was hydrating very well. Like my my tip for the bike, which made it easy as per se was that every time I saw a hill, I would put like ice water on myself and then that would wake me up in one shot or give me testosterone or I don't know, but I would pedal the shit out of this hill. So bike was relatively easy, it was two loops, um, 90 kilometers. The swim, by the way, was uh, two kilometer, half Ironman distance. And finally, um, so you see the, the bike, I did it in the three hours, um, 43. I was 583 on like 700 people overall. So it's quite, quite bad if you compare me with others, but the goal is compare me with me, right? So it was very good for me. Finally, the run was like a pain in the ass. I would say um, the, there was two loops again. It was 21 kilometers. So first loop was okay, first 10. Then like, uh, I don't know, I, I started feeling like stomach aches, um, less energy, uh, and obviously pain in my, in my legs. And I had an ankle I needed to, to be careful with, like a, ten, a tendon which is inflammated, which is obviously fucked up in other words, and I, I didn't fix that. Uh, prior to the race obviously because like the guy would have told me to not run it or some stupid shit like that but I will fix it I promise my wife that I will fix it uh, for my next race and for myself as well because it's important to fix it so the run was quite painful I stopped two times um, 
in the run while I didn't stop at any moment in the race other than my transitions obviously which were quite slow uh, if you compare like my transitions with the um, the other people or I don't know I'll compare that later For the run, I stopped two times because like I had to go pee but obviously my legs had to stop as well was like kind of some excuse so that uh, that's basically for the race so my overall take was was very very hot. Uh, I couldn't have made this race without proper hydration and proper putting some cold water on your fucking face stuff so I did that a lot I put a lot of cold water on my face just to keep my te body temperature down because it was like with the sun it must have been a good 35 degrees and it's very dry here so that that was the race I am very exhausted uh, after the race we uh, we called our taxi friend, he came pick us up, we transferred from Airbnb 2 to Airbnb 1 which is the current Airbnb now. My legs are dead, uh, my wife helped me a lot, not only today but throughout this whole thing. Like I told my parents because they called me for my birthday, yes it was a birthday gift this whole thing. I told them that you have to run, well you have to do a half Ironman before doing the actual half Ironman financially, uh, time wise, energy wise, logistically wise like um, getting the Airbnb, transportation, putting the blue bag, the white bag, the red bag, bringing a, a, a bike in the airplane that's super complicated like um, lots of stress, lots of organization and it's a fucking win to 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 just have it done and to have it finished and to say that I'm here so super proud of myself and my wife because she's she, she was like my my left arm in, in in that episode she was helping me she was uh, my my wingman or however you you can uh, you can say it and I think I'm giving her the 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 picosa the the sting, the sting, the disease, the Iron Man disease, and um, we'll probably catch uh, catch each other. Well, if you were at this half Iron Man, at a full Iron Man event, um, once uh, once I can organize all this orchestra again, hopefully it will be simpler because it was the first, and with so many things to learn and to know, but. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. So, ciao, Kalu. <laughs> and. Love it so much, baby. Yes. I'm very nice. proud of you. Me too, baby. And thank you for also all my supporters. Um, I'm going to include, obviously, my coach David Roher here. Super nice guy. Uh, he, like, from a price quality perspective, he's just like the top of the top. Uh, he's a seven or five or seven time Ironman finisher, super experienced. I asked him tons of questions. You don't know like all the logistics behind that nutrition, training, like bike, shoes, socks. Little, little, the, the list goes on and on. So I texted this guy like almost 10 times a day for, for a month. I prepared uh, I prepared like one month for that. Usually people prepare six months or one year for that.
finished the workout today. I'm gonna go run. Guys, people. Which is why my results compared to the others were not good, but compared to me and compared to people that have one month preparation, whew, that, that, that could uh, yield some interesting results. Let's compare apples with apples. David Roher, I'm gonna thank my business partner as well, Phil Chalette, which uh, obviously he did a half Ironman. Uh, he gave me a lot of advice. His stepdad, which is Ironman Dan, which finished like 10 to 15 Ironman, uh, he gave me advice as well. I'm gonna thank my, my team at Acumen Synergy, uh, Fernand Pierre, especially like they, uh, they were supporting me throughout uh, this adventure and that definitely took some of my time and energy which I couldn't spend the business. So they definitely supported me into this. My parents, uh, Richard and Louise, thank you for your support. Richard, thank you for being there in my business, understanding all the, the troubles that, that I have. Um, and yeah, like my psychotherapist, uh, Milika, um, and uh, sh she definitely like helped me like uh, calm the fuck down. Like one, one very interesting thing is that I slept a full night before the Iron Man. Most people don't sleep. So that, that's, that gave me like a good advantage. And that's because I shut, the, shut my mind uh, with whatever she was telling me, like think about Iron Man, think about Iron Man. No, fuck. I, I didn't think about Iron Man the, the night before. I just shut my brain down. And um, yeah, the, the Airbnb that, uh, that we rented, thanks those guys. Thank the guy for my bike. Uh, I think his name is uh, Grigorio, a guy from Italia. He sold me his bike. Uh, very cool guy. Obviously, that bike is amazing. Uh, it lasted me throughout the race without having flats and stuff like that. So that's definitely someone I have to thank. Uh, and probably your last Airbnb because the, the last Airbnb was amazing. We bought a lot of stuff from Amazon. My proteins, my supplements, my shoes. My We bought like tons of stuff. Bike shirts. And there's so many things, you know, protein bars. So that that is thanks to Amazon. So I'm going to give a huge shout out to Amazon and Airbnb. Two of my favorite companies. So grateful for everyone um organizers as well of the event obviously that's a lot of work and iron man is expensive but it's so much work you know they give us free bottles free rides of, of bus they block like t huge strips of roads for us uh, they there there's like 1000 supporters on site that give us water it's such a uh, a chaotic event so well organized um, obviously thank thank you for for that it's it's just amazing opportunity so thank you I'm grateful for for everyone and uh, especially my beautiful wife that's filming right now she filmed me throughout the whole thing supported me into that so thank you baby and uh, yeah thank you thank you uh, okay, all of you because this is uh, this is a lot of work and uh, we fucking made it so.